going to be an absolute scorcher for us in the next couple of days. Now, by Scottish standards, it is going to be hot because our highest temperature we've ever recorded in Scotland is 33 degrees. And over the next few days, the possibility of somewhere hitting 29 or 30 degrees along the west coast. Now, an experiment I've always wanted to have a go at is how hot does it actually get inside a car on a day like this? Now, I've seen this done in America, for example, where the forecaster gets in the car, sits there and live streams it, tells you how it feels but of course that's dangerous because we're warning you not to leave anything in the car. So I do have the door open and uh, a wee while ago what I decided to do was park the car in the sunshine, got the addition of this glass roof which a few cars have got nowadays uh, and I left a thermometer in it to see how warm it got. So it was 27 degrees outside and the thermometer inside reached 47 degrees. 47, so an incredible 20 degree difference. And with temperatures approaching maybe 30 degrees in some spots in the next few days, that means that inside cars here in Scotland could possibly be reaching 50 degrees. Now, I did leave the thermometer half an hour, so that sort of simulates, say, you were at the supermarket and you thought, I'm just popping in for bread and milk, the dog will be fine, and you ran in, you get caught up in a big queue, and before you know it, the temperatures hit 50 degrees in the car. Fatal and dangerous level. So just something to bear in mind in the next couple of days, do not leave anything precious in the car in the coming days in this heat. But do enjoy the weather. I don't want to be preaching to you, it's just something to remind you of that it does get extremely dangerous inside a car when we have high temperatures like this.